this weekend, um, we had the opportunity to attend the NCAA convention here in Orlando, Florida. Um, it was a really awesome opportunity to just see the different inner workings of the NCAA, all the hard work that goes into having us on the field. The uh, intent of the time together with the student athletes at the USA South was to, um, um, number one, uh, help them learn more about themselves. Secondly, learn about the NCAA. Thirdly, provide them with opportunities of uh, experiences they can take back to campus. And fourth, have fun. And uh, having had an opportunity to chat with the student athletes throughout the four days together, they, uh, it seems as though that was certainly accomplished and uh, we're thankful for that. The honors dinner, um, where you can dress up a little bit and um, uh, hear about some outstanding accomplishments of other student athletes. And, and there were a lot of autograph opportunities, whether it be Mia Hamm or Jason Veritek as well. And the students seem to really enjoy the opportunity to, to get their photo taken with, with um, some celebrities to an extent. Some of the things that I learned from the honorees this, you know, this evening was a lot of perseverance, a lot of hard work, um, and just drive. So the first uh, goal was the idea to help the student athletes learn about themselves. And uh, through the program that we had on Thursday morning, uh, in partnership with the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, uh, equilibria in sports, students learning about colors and, and how they how they approach problems, how they communicate. It's been a fantastic morning. Um, we got split up into our groups with colors based on personality types, and now we got to, just got to do an activity um, building with spaghetti noodles and marshmallows and see who gets um, the highest and. We actually finished ours, and it stayed standing, so I'm extremely proud of our group, but it was just so much fun working with all the teammates with the yellow and blue, so it's been a blast. Different colors um, represent different things, and I found out that I was a more detail-oriented person. Um, she taught us how to use those gifts and abilities uh, to further our program and our teams, um, where we can jump in and help out, and when we can take more of a back seat and let different colors um, kind of shine through. Halfway through day two, we had the opportunity to go and work with special needs children um, from a specific club in Orlando. It was a phenomenal opportunity to be able to work with kids that uh, may not necessarily have the same opportunities that we have. To be able to encourage them and to cheer them on and just to see them smile was the best part. Today we joined up with Special Olympics. I um, got to hang out with a bunch of really cool athletes while they hung out on the bocce court or played soccer. We got some really awesome championship medals out of it today. Second goal that we had in the program was to help the student athletes learn about the NCAA and how the process works. And Vision 3 is, does an outstanding job of presenting legislative items, hot topics. This is done through the Issues Forum. I thought that one of the, one of the better parts of the um, Issues Forum was the fact that Emily Stanley from my uh, Averitt had an opportunity to actually address the, the membership. Just getting to like voice my opinion was awesome in front of the whole Division 3 representative. On the last day, it was all D3, uh, voting on legislation. Just being able to go through the different legislation that they were voting on, to be able to hear people speak, whether for or against, but having the opportunity to voice your opinion. But um, you get to see the inner workings of the conference, and it's not just, there's so many complicated moving parts, um, but everybody comes together to make it work. Providing the students with uh, pieces that they can take back to campus, and that was a, um, probably pretty successful in a number of places. What may be good for one school in our conference may be something that could be applied to another school. So by that sharing, um, I think there's a really good opportunity for them to take um, programs and initiatives from back to the campuses that will um, spur growth. So something that inspired me this weekend was just meeting with all the different people from our conference and seeing that they shared the same vision that I had for SAC on their campus. It was really awesome to see that we have one vision in mind that's bigger than sports and that we can take them back to our campus and now I feel like I have a support system from all over the USA South with the same vision that I have, which is really awesome. The final thing we tried to uh, and still was that it was, it was, a, it was an opportunity to have fun. Going to Disney as an example, about four or five hours having a chance. Many of the students had never been to, uh, to Orlando or Disney World. I went to the test track, um, split up into groups and did that. That was a lot of fun. And then we got to watch the fireworks show. 
us really pretty. <laughs> the fun that they were able to initiate amongst themselves by interacting. Uh, just the banter and the ability for them to grow closer. Uh, you know, they came as 18 individuals with 18 different schools on their on their chest, but by the time they left, they were USA South SAC team, in essence. My favorite part of the entire trip, um, besides Epcot, because I love Disney World, was just getting the opportunity to be here and um, to just see how athletics make such a big impact in everyone's lives. And so just it was an awesome experience and I'm really thankful for it. One of the best parts about being a D3 collegiate athlete is there's so many more opportunities to get involved outside of athletics um, and to build your resume and to get to learn responsibility and become a better person.